Hey everybody, I'm Allie and this is part two of the YNR Chat Vlog for Thursday, November 27th. And I thought that I would start out this video um, by talking about the audacious moment of the week, which in my opinion had to be Olivia telling Neil that he shouldn't marry Karen. That was so rude! I could not even believe that she said that to him. Um, and, okay, and then a couple of hours later she goes to have drinks or whatever with Ashley and she proceeds to tell Ashley not to get involved with Victor, which by the way I think is probably good advice, but still, Olivia, is your main role right now just to go around and tell everybody to get out of the relationship that they're currently in? Because Olivia has always made the very best decisions uh, when it comes to relationships. We all know that she has a perfect track record. Um, hello, Olivia was in love with her sister's husband for years. She was in love with Neil for years, kind of behind her sister's back. So, and I think, didn't they even have an affair? I'm pretty sure they even had an affair. So, Olivia, I'm sorry, but your relationship advice is not exactly golden. And don't you know that telling any of your friends that you don't like their significant other is a big mistake. It rarely changes anything and frankly you just end up looking like a jackass in the end. I mean, I know for myself it's a policy. I never do this. I, even if I hated my, my friend's um, uh, boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, I would never, never be so audacious as to just say, um, you guys need to break up. I don't think you should be with that person. I mean, everybody has to make their own mistakes, and I was just so struck, stricken with, with Olivia in that instance. Come on. But Olivia is actually now the second person um, to point out to Neil that Tyra has a huge crush on him. So I'm curious to know, does Neil now, does he, is he start, is it starting to click with him? Does he understand that, uh, that Tyra is probably in love with him? And more importantly, will it end up making a difference? Um, I like Neil and Karen together, as you know, so I kind of hope not. Um, I actually am kind of happy that Tyra has been dating Detective Hottie. Mostly because I think he's hot, but also because it gets her away from Neil. Um, okay, well, I want to take a little side, uh, a little um, side bar here and talk a little bit about Tyra's outfits this week. Um, okay, she's always very nicely dressed, um, but the, the outfit that she had on on, I think it was Tuesday when she was getting ready for her date with Detective Hottie, which by the way, I'm never going to call him by his real name. I don't know what it is. He's Detective Hottie to me. She had on this, it was like a black and white, um, really nice dress. It had a flower in the center and it had like just two strings that were attaching it to the neck. I mean, and this was all bare. And they went to the coffee house. First of all, they were both dressed up like they were going to go to the, um, the, the ballroom or something and they went to the coffee house. But the whole time she's sitting there with this little dress on and I'm thinking, hello, it's November. Um, we need to start dressing our people for how it actually is. This is the biggest sweater in the world. Come on, you know? Um, and then second, uh, she had on a blue dress at the Thanksgiving table and it was nice, but um, that dress was like boobalicious. The whole front of it was open like cleavage. And I just thought, okay, this is Thanksgiving dinner, not buffalo wings at Hooters, Tyra. So, um, yeah, I think we need to have a little wardrobe discussion with her. She's beautiful. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I just, I just think it's funny. But uh, now her relationship, unfortunately, with Detective Hottie is probably over because Anna was reported missing, and uh, she's being put into foster care now. One part of me, there was a part of me, I'm not gonna lie, that was like, yay! I know, I know, I'm sorry you guys, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm terrible, but um, there, I'm not gonna lie, there was a part of me that was like, good, maybe she'll go away now, um, but there was another part of me that was like, you know, this is really sad, obviously she doesn't want to be separated from her mother, but I also kept thinking, Okay, the detective arrived at Neil's apartment with this other social worker. They're getting ready to take Anna away. Tyra, why didn't you run over there and grab Anna and maybe even run? Get 
out of there. I mean, I just, if it was my kid, I would have run over there to get her and I would have never looked back. I would never let them um, take her. And, you know, another part that kind of bothered me was that during the whole, you know, confrontation at the apartment, Tyra and Anna were across the room from each other. Like, Devon was standing over there comforting Anna while Tyra stood across the room. I just kind of felt like if it was my child, I would have been right there with her. I just felt like Tyra wasn't being particularly comforting during that entire situation. But um, here's what I would like to see, and maybe this is where they're going with this. I would like it very much if Yolanda would come back. She is now sobered up and clean. She's changed her life, and now she wants to take Anna back with her so that we can kind of put an end to that storyline. And I, I almost kind of wonder if that's not a possibility, because if... If um, Yolanda was still on crack, would she really be going out of her way to get back this child that she would now have, that, you know, that she would have to feed and take care of, that she's never had any contact with really throughout the rest of her life? I mean, I, I, I'm just kind of thinking that it is possible that maybe Yolanda might be back on the right track, and I would certainly like to see that. And I just thought that I would wrap this vlog up by talking about the Chancellor clan. This was the first Thanksgiving without Catherine. Um, it was very sad. But now Esther is the lady of the house. Um, First of all, I wanted to mention that it's so gross the way Chloe is trying so hard to break Esther of the, the maid mentality. It's just annoying. She's just annoying. Um, and so Chloe decides to help Esther pick out an outfit for the Thanksgiving dinner um, when Chloe really needed to focus on herself because Again, I'm not a fashiony person, but she, but Chloe had on that big blue dress, which, by the way, she just got really big, really quick. Um, but she had on the blue dress with this gross, chunky gold necklace. It was horrible. I don't know if anybody else saw that, but it was a, an abomination on her hanging around her neck. It was terrible. Chloe, you need to get some fashion help yourself. Okay. Um, but uh, I think that Esther is doing a pretty good job of um, getting out of the the maid mentality uh, without. Any help from anybody else she is now giving hell to Jill telling her you know what you want champagne you go get it um, and she also told her you know what we're equals now I thought that was beautiful I absolutely love it Esther is gonna give Jill a run for her money meanwhile Catherine is getting used to life as Marge the waitress and it, you know it was so sad slash funny um, to watch Catherine try to get all of those orders straight and, and get used to this life. Um, eventually, though, she got the hang of it, and at the end of the day, I thought it was really cute. Um, she said to Murphy, if I'm going to be a waitress, then I'm going to be the very best waitress that I know how to be. That's our Catherine. You've got to love her. Um, and I'm sure that she, she absolutely will be a great waitress right up until the day that one of the Genoa City elite walks around right into that very same diner, orders a cup of coffee, and realizes that Marge is indeed Catherine Chancellor. Okay, that about does it for me for now. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're getting some vacation time and you're going to be able to relax and have some fun. Um, feel free to leave any text comments that you'd like on this video. I love corresponding with you guys. You can also make a video response. You guys have got a couple of extra days off. I would love to see some video responses. Um, if you'd like, you can also go to the main page of this YouTube channel. You can leave me a message there. Um, and you can also go to my website if you want to check up on me throughout the week. It's buttonhead.org. And otherwise, I will see you back here um, one week from Sunday for um, more vlogs, more talking about YNR. In the meantime, enjoy the show and I will see you then.